Welcome back to More Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the Green Bay Packers wide receiving core. Now, I mentioned last week, you better get the Packers now because I think their quarterback is starting to figure out. But this week, I started to notice the young wide receiving core he has to grow with him. And I'm going to take a look and give you a few names to kind of to watch out for. Let, let's kind of go through the list, and then we'll talk about the different things that they did in this last game. You got um, Romeo Dubs, and we all know he was drafted last year. A speedster, 6'2", uh, 204, can run from Nevada. Um, we know what he can give you in a vertical game. He showed a little bit last year when Watson got hurt. Uh, A-Rod kind of found a little faith in him, and then, you know, this year he's – up and down with, with, you know, injuries in and out of the lineup and coming along. But you see the maturation and the growth. Then you have Malik Heath, who I personally are kind of fond of being a Mississippi guy, coming from Callaway High School in Jackson, Mississippi, and getting a chance to shine and play at um, Green Bay. He's a rookie. Uh, this is probably his best game this last week, and we'll take a look at a catch that he had too, getting a chance to shine. Um, Jaden Reed, a guy, another rookie from Michigan State, another speedster, again, young fella that can grow with the quarterback and have a chance to 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 build rapport and they can find tendencies and how he likes to run routes and what he can do. And he's a gadget guy too. Another guy, uh, Christian Watson. Everybody knows Christian Watson, 6'4", 208 pounds, burner. Takes the top off of defenses, 4'3 guy, damn near 4'2". And a guy you won't see in this video that I don't want to leave out, Dontavian Wicks. Another speed, speedy guy, 6'1", 206, that can fly. Had a good game last week. Another guy that you won't see in this, Bo Melton. Bo Melton's a small guy, small guy, but can fly. Real shifty, real, let me see, who can I say, Tank Dale-ish. But not with the ball skills that Tank Dell possessed so far. So far, and you got Samuel Torrey, who played in Nebraska, who's kind of, you know, he's all right. But them, them first set of guys I named, if they can grow together and stay together, and grow with Jordan Love, man, man, the Packers have something on their hands to deal with. I think the sky's the limit for the Packers. And again, I'll say this for two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row. If you're going to get the Packers, you better get them now. <laughs> you better get them now. If you're going to get the Packers, you better get them now. Let's take a look at these young wide receivers and what they did uh, Thanksgiving Day versus the Lions. And they pulled out an incredible, incredible victory over the Lions. All right, so let's take a look at this first play. This is Christian Watson. We all know who Christian Watson is. Take the top off of defenses. And this is one of those examples. Run a deep post. Got past his corner. Got over the top of the safety. And the ball's underthrown. Look at him high point the ball. Look at him go up and get this underthrown ball that's beyond the safety, but in front of his corner. And look how much he high points that. That 6'4 frame. And again, he can run by you. But in the case that, you know, the ball is on the throne or it's a, you know, 50-50 ball, he can go up and get it. High point, extension, because the safety jumps. But he's nowhere close to as high as Watson. Goes up, gets control of it, brings it down. This is just part of his skill set. Just part of it. Like the, the ability to, watch how he runs, runs past the corner first. Disregard the high point on the ball, which is which is key. But this is this corner is kind of sort of bailing at the snap. He just runs past it. Like with every stride, watch with every stride how he eats up the cushion. Every stride, the cushion closes. Cushion closes. Cushion closes. Cushion closes. Cushion gone. Cushion gone. Now he leaving. 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 Had this ball been thrown like further out, no doubt in my mind, he just ran away from it. Just ran away from him. But it's under throne. He changes and goes and goes from being a speedster to just a big receiver and goes up and gets it. Goes up and gets it. Second guy, 
in the group we talked about. Read. Watch this route running from the line of scrimmage. Watch this get off. Ah, ah, ah. Set him up. Set him up with the outside move to give himself more room. Work your outside. Work your outside. Stick you outside. You step that foot in the ground. That's all the room I need to get inside. That's all the room I need to run to run that. That's all the room I needed. I done worked you. Worked your leverage. What a throw. What a throw. What a throw. Look at all that traffic. Look at the traffic. I probably should have put an end zone view on here. Look, this ball goes right behind Christian Watson and the defender's head. And the concentration by Reed to catch this ball, I don't care if it's a body catch. In this instance, I don't give a crap. The concentration to catch that ball and finish it for a touchdown. An amazing catch. And it don't seem like much because it's just a slant. But look where this ball crosses. Like, <laughs> I wish I had to put the, the end zone view on here. I mean, that's crazy. What that, like, it, it almost seems like the ball goes behind Watson, but in front of the defender. That's why. But the 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 concentration to to catch it and and, and finish the run, crazy. Again, rookie, a rookie. Again, Watson, if I'm not mistaken, in his second year. Let's go to the next guy. If I'm not mistaken, this is Malik Heath. Good release. Good route. Now work back to the ball. Work back to the ball. There you go. Good hands catch. So good release inside. Is that top of your route? Top of your screen, I mean. Got the leverage. Stick your foot. Look at that. Look at that. Knees, shoulders, everything in line. Look at that. That's teach tape right there. Shoulders low, knees and everything. Knees, shoulders, and toes right in line. Not too many choppy steps. I just work back to the ball. I wish you would have worked back to the ball a little bit more. But Jordan Love, though, was a good job of throwing him low and away. Well, in this case, low and inside, away from the defender. He goes down and gets it for another first down. Again, rookie. Rookie. Jaden Reed, rookie. Malik Heath, rookie. Christian Watson, second-year guy. Next up, Dubs, second-year guy. So we've seen two rookies, Watson in the second year, Dubs in the second year. Look at this dig route. Because you, you got to respect the fact that Dubs can run by you. You got to respect that, for, that first. Then he just sit it down on the crosser. But what I like about this is, what I like about this is, like, see, he's starting to come down the line right here on about the 30, what, a 28-yard line. Most people would just come straight down this line, which will give the DB a chance to kind of break on and whatnot. Watch him work this track to help his quarterback out. That's what I like about it. That's why I threw this one on here. This is, this is a veteran move. He's been, he's been listening to somebody. Watch him work back down this line. Watch him work back. See him work, starting to work back? So instead of him catching it right here, which was the original line I talked about, he catches it closer to the 30. That's a veteran move right there. That, keep, that keeps him with separation. With the separation he created in his route, that working back down the, toward the uh, QB helps him keep that separation. Completed pass. Another first down. Now, Again, you don't see Wicks on here because, I, you know, Wicks didn't have a catch this game. Go back and look at the video from last week. You'll see Wicks and kind of do what he did. But don't forget about Wicks. We're going back to Watson on this one. Show him more Watson's skill set. This is his touchdown. And again, watch the throw by Love. Watch the throw. Seeing that he's winning. Dying. Dying. And again, Watson can go from speedster to big receiver all at the same time. And you get that all in one package. You get a burner and a big receiver in one package with Chris and w Christian Watson. Again, high point in the ball. Getting a good release from the slot. He ain't just playing outside. Got him in the slot right here. He's starting outside, but you're going to motion somebody out and he turns into a slot receiver. Good release. Now, at this point, everybody know the adage. If the receiver's even, they're leaving. 
Nice little in, in cock, uh, needle push off to create separation. High point the ball. Look at that. That's picture perfect right there. Packers fans, get your screenshots out. That's picture perfect right there. Picture perfect. Touchdown. Again, I just want to reiterate, <laughs> you better get the Packers now. Because if these four guys, and that's Dubs as, as a second-year receiver, Watson as a second-year receiver, Wicks as a rookie, um, Malik Heath as a rookie, Jaden Reed as a rookie, they all grow and develop and get better with the quarterback, uh, Jordan Love. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really know what, you know, Whatever they decide to do at the running back situation, hmm. NFC North, you better get them now. Lions, you better get them now. And I know the Lions on top of that division right now, but I can see this Packers offense lighting the NFC up next year. Next year. Now, I don't know, again, just focusing on their offense. They got enough to to do some damage with those four or five guys and the way Jordan Love looks like the light bulbs coming on. Packers fans, you may not have a lot to cheer about this year going forward toward the end. Maybe you do. You never know what's going to happen in these last four weeks or five weeks or whatever we have left. But the future is bright in Green Bay. And so I appreciate you guys for coming through, spending time with me. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you really like it, consider subscribing and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2023 season. And grab a link, share it with somebody, let them know that we got some good Packers content on this channel. So I appreciate you guys for coming through, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love.